my suggestions Lately I've been waiting on a few And I'm counting on my places Hello everyone! Welcome back for another video. This is going to be a vlog. Um, I'm just going to be taking you guys with me as I get ready for my trip. I'm going to be getting my nails done and my lashes done and I need to braid my hair. I washed it yesterday and then I think I'm going to blow dry it tonight or tomorrow and then I'll probably braid it on Sunday. Yeah, and also need to pack. So just doing all the things to get ready, maybe pick up some last minute things um, from the store as well. But if you're interested in seeing how I get ready for my trip, stick around. Also, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. Today is currently Friday, March 18th. It's like 11.45 a.m. And I'm about to leave to go to the dentist just for like a regularly scheduled teeth cleaning. Um, and then yeah, later today I have to get, I'm gonna get my lashes done. They look a little crazy by the way, because my allergies have been really bad and I've rubbed a lot of them off. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to do that between now and my trip after I get them done. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try my best to ignore my eyes being itchy. But that's what we're doing. Let me go brush my teeth real fast so that we can get to this dentist appointment. By the way, if you don't brush your teeth before going to the dentist, you nasty. And I just want you to know that. You should always brush your teeth before going to the dentist. Always. No transition to the new network at the clinic, but I can't because of the insurance. Okay, just got done with the dentist. Had to put some chapstick on and come on me feeling nasty. And I have like um, some fluoride on my teeth, so feels gross. I'm kind of hungry, but I can't eat right now because the fluoride. I think you're supposed to wait like 30 minutes or something. I don't really like to eat after the dentist anyways. <sighs> just because, you know, your teeth feel all cleaned and everything. But no cavities but I do have to get a wisdom tooth pulled, my bottom one. I got my top ones pulled like a couple years ago and those weren't bad, but I heard the bottom ones hurt more. So now I have to get my bottom one pulled, which is gonna suck. I scheduled it for April, but I might move it. We'll see. But yeah, glad that's done with. It was super fast. She cleaned my teeth really fast. Um, I think it's because I'm using an electric toothbrush. Because whenever I have an electric toothbrush, I feel like my teeth be pretty clean. They don't have to do too much. But anyways, I think I'm going to stop at Target because we need a few things for the house. And then we'll go back home and work until my eyelash appointment. I'm calling. Maybe I'm selfish. So we are back home. I got a few things from Target, mainly for the house. Like I got a, a drain stick to clean the drain of all of our hair because it's getting a little clogged. And then I got some snacks because I don't have any snacks in here and I'm really hungry. I, I went to the store again when I was hungry. So I bought a bunch of random stuff. Like I bought these chocolate pepper pretzels, which I do love. These are the best chocolate pepper pretzels. Dark chocolate only. I got some Cheez-Its, which I haven't bought Cheez-Its in like years. So I know this is just because I'm hungry. I think everything just sounded good to me when I was in the store. And then this popcorn. Pretty sure my stepdad put me onto that. Because I've been really into that popcorn lately. And I got some mouthwash. I just got the Crest one. I was going to try a different one. I was going to try the TheraBreath one um, that everyone seems to be into. My sister actually told me about it first. And I think she learned about it from TikTok. So I was in the store like asking her which kind to get because they all have different colors and stuff. Or there's like different ones with different colors. <sighs> but she was busy. She was working <laughs> as I was bugging her. I was like, which kind do I get? And she was like, 
the blue one. And I was like, there's a light blue one and a dark blue one. She was like, the one that's mint. And they all said mint. They were just like different kinds of mint. Invigorating mint, rainforest mint, clean mint. So I got overwhelmed. And I just went back to what I know and got crust again. Anyways, I got some more leave-in conditioner. Carol's daughter. And I got some more um, retinol serum from Burst. So I was running out of both of these. Running out of a lot of stuff. I also got some toilet paper and paper towels because we were out of that too. Got some more protein powder because I was out of this. I was just out of everything. I don't know what's going on. And I got a loofah, which I think is too small. This looks like a small loofah. Oh, well. And then I got some more ankle socks because all mine can get in holes in them. And it's very annoying. So, yeah. Spent way more than I meant to, which I'm pretty sure... Everyone says when they go to Target. I don't know. Or at least I always say it when I go to Target. I always, I don't know, be going off. <sighs> but yeah, we're back home. I need to get back to work. And then in a couple hours, go get my lashes done. So we're home now. Lashes are done and I'm about to make dinner. The next day. Okay, so I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna do this. So I have some hot water right here. I have some acetone, 100% acetone. I got this from Target. There's only a little bit left, so I'm gonna just use the rest of this and put it in this bowl. Hopefully this will be enough. Because I think this is all I have. So put the acetone in here. And then I'm going to warm it up. I want it to be warm to help get the nail polish off. So I'm just going to set it in the hot water for a few minutes and let it warm up. I don't want to put the acetone directly in the microwave because it's flammable. And I'm kind of nervous working with it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just heat it up this way. I don't think I want to heat it up too long because I'm afraid it might start evaporating or something. Um, but just to, long enough to get it warm. And then I'll show you what we do next. All right, it hasn't been that long. <laughs> I'm kind of impatient, you guys. So I'm just going to take this acetone out of the water. Dun, 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 dun. I hope this is enough. Jesus. We'll move this out of the way. There's our acetone. Can you guys see it? I think so. Okay. And then I'm going to put these napkins in there so that I can rub my nails on the napkins while they're in the acetone to get the nail polish off. And I'm going to put this towel on top of my hands. So it'll be like... All like this and stuff with the napkins and everything and I'm gonna be rubbing and stuff <sighs> but first I'm gonna put something on to watch while I'm doing this <laughs> so, here we go. Like this. all right I'm gonna do that and then have my hands under the towel and start rubbing <clears throat> and I'll let you guys know how long it takes to get the nail polish off and let you guys see what it looks like when it's done. So this is how we're starting and we're gonna try and get this. This is powder, by the way. This is the SNS nail polish that I'm getting off. You guys, that was so fast. I need to go wash my hands, but nail polish is off. That literally only took like, um, like 10 minutes. Then my hands are all nasty now. Look at that. Awesome. Now we can get straight to the fun part when I get to the nail salon. Ugh. And I have to try not to break a nail though between now and getting to the nail salon because my nails aren't very strong without nail polish. So yeah, we'll hope for the best. But I'm glad I got it off before I go because I'm going to a new place. And some places take off nail polish differently like some people will just um, like file, try to file it off if they're in a hurry. 
I don't like that because it takes off layers of your nails. Um, but my normal place that I go to, it does this. It like, they soak your nails, but some places don't do that. So now I don't have to worry about like how they're gonna take it off when I go to this new place. Cause I already did it. All right, let me go wash my hands and take a shower. I also need to figure out a safe way to dispose of this. With acetone, you're supposed to usually put it in like a metal can or something like you would with ashes, but it's only a little bit. So I think it'll be fine. And the paper towel mostly soaked it up. So I might just toss it in the trash since it's such a small amount. I think it's fine. But yeah, let's go get cleaned up. So I just pulled up to the nail place. It was super far. It's like an hour from my house. Um, but my friend told me they do really good with designs and stuff. And I was supposed to come here with her, but she's injured and just had surgery. So she's on bed rest. So but I decided to still come out and try it. Um, so yeah, let me hurry up and get inside because I'm like 10 minutes late. So I'll see you guys in there. It was really rainy on my side of town, but it's so pretty and sunny over here. All right, let's go. Oh my god, you guys. That was insane. I was in there for two and a half hours. And for one of those hours, I was just sitting and waiting. Like, I literally got the thank you for coming in, like, give us your review message while I was still waiting before they even started my nails. Woo! They had like one lady doing three people's nails. Too much. I was like, what is going on? You guys are hella behind. And I don't know how I feel about my nails. I think they just look okay. Like obviously they were rushing cause they had a lot of people in there. It was really busy. But yeah, my appointment was at 11 and we got done. It's like 1.30 now. Crazy. And there was like clipping still on the table from the last person before me. Like they didn't wipe it down or nothing. They were like hella busy. So yeah, which reminds me I need to use hand sanitizer. A little bit crazy. I said, I told myself I wouldn't try anything new before a vacation ever again too. But I always do it. I always be trying new stuff. I'll show you guys my nails when I get home. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them right now. They just look okay to me. And she put a random line on the thumb. Like, that's not supposed to be there. But, I don't know. They're okay. They're okay. I don't know. Maybe I'll like them more later on. Insane. But yeah, my schedule for today has been kind of jacked up <laughs> it's messed up um i was supposed to go to baby shower totally missed it i think it's probably completely over by now which is mostly my fault because i got the times mixed up because it's the baby shower is for my friend that's in new york so in my head this whole time i had it in my head that the baby shower was at 1 30 but that's on their time that's on eastern time not pacific so completely missed the baby shower. I like drove, parked up here, and my friend was like, where are you at? Like, why aren't, are you coming to the baby shower? I was like, what is she talking about? And then, Eastern time. I forget about different time zones. Just a wreck today. Um, so yeah, that sucked. I think it's probably going to be over by the time I get home, but I'll, like, check when I get home. And I can't figure out how to get into my Zoom. I was going to, like, try to jump in the meeting while I was in there, but my Zoom wasn't working. So, just some challenges today. And I got an hour ride back home. Um, I was supposed to stop and visit my friend because she had surgery a couple days ago. And I was going to stop and give her some flowers and stuff. And she lives out this way. Or she's staying with family that lives out this way. But she's not feeling so well today and um, wants me to stop by another day. So I will see her when I get back. But yeah. What a mess. 
What a hot mess. <sighs> Not in love with my nails, but I mean, I think I'll like my toes. I'm just gonna get white on my toes. I'm not going to get any crazy designs or anything. And I'm going to just get my toes done at the place by my house. Because I just couldn't sit in there any longer. I couldn't do it. So I'm going to go to the place in my... I'm going to go to the place by my house. The place I usually go to. <sighs> A different day. Maybe tomorrow. I might get my toes done tomorrow. Because I just... I can't be sitting in nail salons that long. Like, that's insane. Anyways... I'm done venting. The people were super nice in there though. Like the guy at the front desk, he was super sweet. Super nice guy. Um, and you could tell she has talent, like the girl. She just was in a hurry today. Like even her nails are super bomb. Like they were beautiful. I was like, I kind of want what you got on your nails. I love when nail techs have like their nails cute too, you know? Cause it's kind of rare. Like. Same with hairstylists. Like, I love when hairstylists have their own hair done. But I feel like a lot of hairstylists and nail people... Well, nail people, I get it. Because you're doing other people's nails all the time. You probably mess your nails up trying to do other people's hair. Or do other people's nails. So that makes sense. Why you might not have your nails done if you're a nail tech. Um, but yeah, anyways. I'm done ranting and venting about my experience here today. You can tell they have good nail techs in there. They just got to fix their scheduling. I don't know who's in charge of scheduling. But like one person should not have three or four people. I've never seen that before. It's insane. But let me drive home. Because I got an hour drive, like I said. I think I'm going to stop at a Starbucks or something. I haven't eaten anything today. Because I wasn't hungry before I left this morning. So I think I'm just going to stop at Starbucks. And get on the road. I made it back home a little while ago. There's traffic on the way home. Um, it took me like an hour and a half to get back. But I was listening to this, uh, this podcast that I found recently called And Then We Had Sex. And it's super funny. It's like this black couple. And they'd be talking about sex. And sometimes a little bit not about sex too. And relationships. And they're funny. They're kind of crazy, but they're fun to listen to. So I was listening to that because I've been kind of tired of listening to music. But yeah, we're about to go see our friend's new baby. And I probably won't film it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey y'all, so it's Sunday. It's another day. Um, I'm about to head out and go get a pedicure. I know we were just at a nail salon yesterday, but this time we're going to the one I usually go to. <laughs> and I just want to get the pedicure and nail stuff out of the way. Um, I have a load of laundry already in there. I've gotten cleaned up. Um, I have this green top on, which if you've seen some of my clothing hauls, you've probably seen this already a couple times. Um, but I haven't worn it outside yet. So I'm wearing it today because we're going to go to lunch um, with some of the girls that I'm going on the trip with to Puerto Rico with in a few days. Um, I'm going to be meeting some of them for the first time, so that'll be really cool. But yeah, I don't really change clothes, so I'm just going to be wearing this probably the whole day for lunch and to get my pedicure. Um, but I might change my pants because I wore some loose pants just so I can pull them up um, when I'm getting my toes done. But anywho, that's what we're doing, and we're about to head out now to go get the pedicure. Where the girls cook catfish And in LA, every chick's an actress Hollywood status with the shaded glasses To Detroit, yeah, the place that I rest Where the ladies got asses and lola sex And how the line of y'all is one of the best Where they speak southern and slang and smoke lots of So we're at Starbucks now Just got done with the pedicure Um, I just got white on my toes Kept it real basic, real simple Since my nails are all you know busy <laughs> um but yeah it was nice i got paraffin and she was massaging me and stuff she knew what she was doing it's a good time i feel relaxed and i had like the area to myself for a while there weren't really any people getting pedicures for like most of my appointment so it was cool i beat like the busy 
time because a lot of people started coming in once I was almost done. So that was cool. I love seeing couples go get their pedicures together though. I even love when I see men like get their nails, like manicures and pedicures. Like I think that's good. Like I love seeing men like take care of themselves. I've been trying to convince my boyfriend to get pedicures with me. He's weird about it though. But I think eventually he'll cave. He didn't really like people touching his feet though. Which I don't either. Like I don't particularly like pedicures all that much. I don't like the scrubby part because I'm ticklish, but everything else is fine. Anywho, um, we're at Starbucks. Just gonna grab a snack and then I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna put my makeup on and then we're gonna head to lunch just with the girlies. Um, yeah. And then hopefully after that I can come back and start my hair. I was so tempted to start my hair this morning. But once I start something, I'm really bad at stopping. So I knew it would have been a problem. Probably would have showed up to my lunch late trying to do my hair. And I was afraid it was going to rain. So I don't really want to have like braid my hair and then be out in the rain and then they get all frizzy and stuff. Because I know after today, I probably won't leave the house too much until my until I'm leaving for my trip. So yeah. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. Did I tell you guys when I was leaving my apartment complex, there was like this old man waving me down and I was like, oh no, is my tire flat? Cause anytime someone waves me down about my car, my tire is flat, my lights aren't working. So I rolled my window down a little bit because I don't trust people, just a little bit. And <laughs> he's so nice. He's just like, do you like the new car? Like my family member got the same car and I got to drive it and it's nice. It drives so nice. Are you enjoying it and stuff? And I'm so awkward. Like I felt like I wasn't good at conversating with him. I was just like, yeah, it's a nice car. Like, thanks for asking. Like I enjoy it. But it's so funny. Cause you know, old people just be watching people. They just be people watching and stuff. Um, but my car's not that new. Well, I got it like nine months ago. Hold on, my order. Good morning. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. How can we get started today? Hi, can I have a grande matcha latte with oat milk? Grande hot matcha latte with oat milk. Yeah. And a warm chocolate chip cookie. And... If you have any more of the double smoked bacon cheddar sandwiches, can I have one of those? Uh, I'm sorry, we have every other sandwich but that one. Um, okay, maybe the sausage cheddar egg sandwich? Sausage cheddar, you got it. Cool, and that's all. Awesome, it's going to be 13 65 Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, what was that song? Oh yeah, my car, I didn't get that long ago. I got it like nine months, or it's not that new, is what I was saying. My car's not that new, I got it like nine months ago. I mean, it's kind of new though, because I got it less than a year ago. So yeah. But it's so funny, because you know they just be watching, they be watching about what's going on in the neighborhood. People watching. I mean, I feel like everybody does that, but old people are the only ones that like, are super obvious and we'll say something <laughs> about it uh but yeah super nice guy i haven't really talked to him before that's probably the most conversation we've had usually it's just like a hello a wave um yeah a lot of people in my complex are nice i don't talk to nobody but i say hi and they say hi back so that's good enough for me anyways i'll probably catch you guys when i'm heading to lunch We're back home and look, Starbucks gave me an extra drink. I ordered this one, a grande hot matcha. And then they actually made a big old iced venti matcha. But this one has real milk in it. I still took it though, because I cannot turn down free stuff. So makeup is done. Even though I think my face 100% does not match my chest. But we just not gonna worry about it. We just not gonna talk about it. 
I don't know what's going on. Um, my face is looking a little yellow. Hopefully the natural lighting, it'll like be better. I don't know, when we're outside. I don't know, I'm not gonna worry about it. But I did my makeup. I am ready early for once. We about to be on time for this lunch. We about to be on time. I'm excited. <sighs> but yeah, probably just gonna hang out for a while and uh, watch this podcast I was telling y'all about for a little bit until it's time to go. I think the place is like 30 minutes away. So I could probably leave at like one and drive over there. I think we're going to a vegan restaurant which I'm not vegan, but I'm starting to have a lot of friends that are vegan. But you know, if the food is good, I don't mind. I really don't, I really don't mind. <sighs> also, that um, matcha with the real milk, the iced matcha that I got for free with the real milk, did exactly what I thought it was gonna do. I feel so bloated right now, but it's okay, it's okay. All right. I can't wait to do my hair though, because this bun, I'm not feeling it. I'm done complaining. <laughs> I don't know why I'm complaining so much today. We're gonna leave it a bit to go eat. <laughs> I get that. You weren't even there for that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's the joint I had were we right Oh, yeah. say that. that. Got back or done. We just got done with lunch. Um, well, I just got done. I done drove to the mall and everything, and I'm about to go into Sephora to get some last minute things. But first, I'm gonna go to Nordstrom's to go pee because I drank too much. And yeah, let's go do this real fast. I can't even think. All right, y'all, let's hurry up and go home. Because outside is expensive, and I'm out here spending money. I don't need to be spending. I'm not going to have no money on my trip the way I'm acting. The video cut off on me, but I got this, like, glow oil. I wanted the translucent one, but it was sold out, and apparently it's sold out at the other Sephora stores, too, so... I got the slightly tinted one, but I want to use this on my legs anyways, and it seems like if you rub it in, like, there's barely any tint. Like, it's not, it really is just, like, barely tinted. So I got this. We'll see how I like it. It seemed pretty when I rubbed it on my, so I don't even know if you can see that. But it's a little glisteny. That's a translucent one that I used. I really like that one, but on my wrist, I used a slightly tinted one. And it's barely, I feel like it's barely tinted. You you really can't really see it. But I got this and I finally got the Fenty Body Butter. So I'll try this too. I was thinking about holding off on this because it's not really travel sized. But I don't know. I could probably put it in another container, finesse it somehow. But yeah, I just want my skin to be glistening. So I got a few things. Definitely not necessary though. So let's go home. I am done spending money until we are gone, until we're out, you know? No more spending money. To so go home, do my hair. I'm probably gonna have to blow dry it again because it's been raining um, and my hood hasn't really been covering it that well. So yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, so we're back home. I got in some comfy clothes because that turtleneck was starting to stress me out. I'm getting a little overwhelmed because I feel like I have a lot to do still. I have some laundry still going and I changed the sheets on the bed and I'm going to just focus on doing my hair today. I think I'm going to focus on packing tomorrow after work or maybe two, no, Tuesday I leave. But I mean, I have a whole day still. So. Yeah, I'm gonna just focus on packing probably tomorrow night and focus on my hair today. So I'm gonna re-blow dry it real fast just cause it was raining so much. Oh, by the way, I unpackaged the things I got. Here's what they look like out of the package. This glow oil and this Fenty Beauty. I was curious about the texture cause I never really seen anybody open it up. 
before and show it, but here's what it looks like. It's really soft and creamy. So yeah, I like it. It doesn't seem very oily or anything. It's very light. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited to use it. I got my fancy duty finally. And my little glow oil. I'm excited to see how this looks on my legs. But I like that this is already travel size. It's 2.5 ounces. So I can just throw this in the bag. This I'm probably gonna have to put in another container, a little bit of it in the container. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. So let's get to this hair. I have some leftover hair from Amazon that I bought from Amazon. I hope it's enough. If not, we might not be able to finish. This is the hair I got though. And I have one, two, three, four, five packs of this. I got five packs of this hair. So I'm really hoping, I don't know. Oh, I didn't even show you guys what kind of hairstyle I, I wanna do. I'll be right back, I'll show you guys. I kinda have like two options, but I'm probably gonna lean towards the easy, I'm already leaning towards the easier one. I'm gonna show you guys, hold on. All right, so at first I was just gonna do some normal box braids, but now I'm trying to choose between. I'm trying to choose between this hairstyle or this one. I see that. See the braids are a little bigger. So I think I'm leaning towards this one. But those are the two options my um, my family and my friends helped me narrow it down to. And I've been trying to choose between those two for a while. But I think I'm leaning towards the second one just because the braids are bigger. And it just seems more simple. So I don't really have the energy <laughs> to do anything too fancy. Okay, so I've parted my hair. I think this is gonna be the front section. I don't know if I parted it even. I really don't know if my parts are straight. But I tried my best. It's really hard to part my own hair. It's so hard. I'm still getting I'm like the worst at when it comes to trying to bring down hair. And then I separated the hair. Super small sections because I'm gonna try and do knotless braids in the back. And then we'll do the corners in front. Hopefully we have enough hair and enough gel. I already put gel in this section, but um, yeah. So I'm just gonna start with braiding this. I have not done knotless braids on myself in a long time. So we will have to see how this goes. I think that came out okay. I'm just gonna keep on pressing on and hope for the best. Basically just feeding the hair in. I'm just gonna keep going and I think that I will um, connect with you guys when I finish this back part of my head and we start doing a front part. And New York women are way too fresh Too much on your mind Let me ease that stress I wish you all were mine It's so selfish Maybe I'm feeling myself too much I guess But to my ladies all across the globe In small towns that I don't even know No, To all local international codes Whether you see me in streets Or catch me at shows I'm calling Maybe I'm selfish I hold you to myself I can't help it Oh my Yeah maybe I'm selfish You're my Like Mr. Friendly And still the spotlight like Mr. Bentley I spotted her like Spud McKenzie And for them fake boobies I paid them Benjis Get your own I got Paris, he got Nicky, he tried to get him a clone He said, yeah, you know you got extra hoes And everything you do is extra cold From the polo fleece to the Jesus piece I got family in high places like Jesus' niece Can I please say my peace? If y'all fresh to death, then I'm deceased and this one here is a heat rock spit like a beat. Okay, so I finished the back half of my head. 
Can I see that? It might be too dark. Um, I think it's okay. I'm not like super in love with it. I could have done better, but definitely tired. I think it's probably like midnight now. I think I started at like five, maybe six. So we've been braiding for like six or seven hours. It took me forever. I probably could have just done regular braids and not knot lists. I don't know why I did that to my zoo. So much work. But partway through, I realized I could put my mirror on my tripod so I could see the back of my head and part. So that was helping. But I ran out of gel, the gel that I really like to use. So now for like the last two or three braids, I had to use Eco Styler, which is not the same. And I'm debating if I want to keep going with the front of my head and just use Eco Styler or if I want to wait till tomorrow and get some more of my gel. I'm not sure. I kind of just want to keep going because I hate stopping. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out of hair. That's how much hair I have left. And I don't think it's going to make it through my whole head. So I honestly might just stop. I don't know. I probably won't. No, I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to try it with the Eco Gel. If it sucks, I'll take it out. I'll do it again tomorrow. curled my hair all the way up I'm just gonna do this eco style I mean I should have known better though <sighs> this is fucking stupid okay yep I'm done I'm done I give up so I just got over to Sally's and I'm about to get some gel I've been staring at the clock oh it's Monday by the way Hello, it's Monday. I just got to Sally's and I'm about to get some more gel and then I'm going to head to the hair store and get some more hair so I can finish my hair. <laughs> um, I was just staring at the clock all morning, like waiting for them to open. So I'm going to run in there and do that. When my hair is half done, like I can't think about anything else. Like I just I have to get it done. I hate having unfinished half done hair. I have my beanie on. I have my hair tucked into my coat because it's pouring outside, of course. Um, but yeah, let's hurry up and go in. I've been up for a while. I didn't sleep that well last night. Um, so I woke up really early and was just folding laundry and then started working. Um, and yeah. All right, let's go inside. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're back home now. That was a really quick, like, little run. I think I was out for less than 30 minutes. Anywho, I also went, uh, went into Target again. I've never gone to Target so much in my life. But I just feel like I'm running out of everything all at once. So from Target, I just got some more of my face wash. I'm running out of that. And I got this cleansing balm um, by Versed. I've never gotten used their cleansing balm before. I usually get this one from... Soko Glam or something like that that I order online but I didn't feel like ordering it online and I'm running low so I just got that one and then oh I also got some more honey pot wipes that's about it and then at Sally's this is lit I got so lucky this is literally the last jar of this jam that they had and I also tried I got this one because I heard this is actually pretty good too this edge control but yeah, I got so lucky. This was the last container on the shelf. Anyways, um, I might attempt to do my hair again right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to because I don't think I'm going to be able to focus on anything else if I don't get this hair done. All right. Hey, y'all. So I forgot to say I bought some more hair too. Hopefully it matches. This hair, I don't know. I thought they looked the same in the store. I'll wear this though. Um, cause yeah, I just bought that from this hair store, kind of close to my house. All right, so we're gonna attempt this again. 
but with better gel. So I just finished braiding. Here's how they're looking. Here's the back. Um, I think they're okay. I'm definitely not a pro, so they didn't come out as like sleek as I would want, but oh, we finished. So I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, some of the braids are just a little questionable and I have like a bunch of different browns in my hair. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this fits my face well, this hairstyle, but maybe when I have my contacts in and some makeup on and I'm like dressed up, it'll look cuter. But yeah, I don't know why I didn't see myself. It was a lot of work. And I don't think I'm ever going to do this on my own head ever again. Have somebody else do it. I'm just going to spray the top because I didn't put any loose on this yet. Oh, I'm exhausted. And I need to dip the ends. I don't know if I want to curl them or not. I think I'm definitely gonna be taking gel with me on the trip. And maybe a headband, cause I don't know how well these are gonna last me through the trip. I might be looking like a ragamuffin when I get back. I have to bring a headband or something for the ride back. If I'm like in the water and stuff, I feel like these are gonna start looking pretty rough. I don't know how well they're gonna do if I get them all wet and stuff. My, mainly the top of my head is what I'm worried about. Okay, let me stop playing with it, dip my ends, vacuum, and start working again. The way the beat rocks, new version of Pete Rock. or like 8 30 and i'm finally gonna start packing let me know if you so close to the camera i'm gonna start packing i've thrown some things out i have my pajamas that i'm gonna wear probably just this and some shorts even though i don't really like having my bare skin on like beds that aren't mine so I kind of want to wear something long sleeve but it's gonna be warm so maybe this will be fine I just get kind of I'm a weird okay here's the current status on packing situation I pulled everything out of my room that I'm thinking about taking so right now this is like festival outfits that's not festival outfits. I don't know. I'm going to try that on. That's shorts. That's swimsuits. Not taking. We're a mess right now. But we're going to pull it together. We're going to pull it together. Okay, I've got it figured out now. I've narrowed it down. So... This is going to be festival outfit number one, festival outfit number two, and festival outfit number three. 
All right, you guys, it's 12 in the morning and everything is finally in the suitcase. I ended up deciding I'm not going to bring my kimono and I'm not going to bring one of the black dresses because I wanted everything to fit. Um, so I rolled everything together, like all the outfits together. So like this is um, festival outfit three, two, one, and then day outfits, pajamas, day outfits. Um, so that's how I did it. I think I saw someone on social media like... I can't remember if it was TikTok or Instagram. I saw them do that and I thought it was really smart. So yeah, I tried it this time and I put my purses in my purse, <laughs> in my personal item. I always do that. Whatever purse I'm going to carry, I also just put it in my purse, my carry on item thing. Sorry guys, I'm so tired. I can't talk, <laughs> but we're packed here. Um, I think I even got my airport outfit for the way back. I'm just gonna wear like sweats and a t-shirt It's really hard for me to think of airport outfits because I know it's gonna be raining here. And it's gonna be hot there. So I just gotta do like layers or something But yeah We're packed. I just need to do our like hair products like toiletries and stuff and we need to do shoes and I need to also of course do like undergarments and stuff um but of course i won't be able to do all the toiletries because i need to be able to use some tonight and tomorrow morning so that will mostly be a tomorrow thing but i can show you guys how i still do it and then shoes i'm gonna do it tomorrow because i'm tired <laughs> and undergarments i have to wait till tomorrow because my boyfriend is sleeping uh in the bedroom and I don't want to bug him. I've already kind of been bugging him just doing this stuff. I feel bad. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm squatting like this, but it hurts. Let's go do toiletries. did all we can do to get ready for the trip we've packed as much as we can for today so i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here if you made it this far thank you so much for watching and like comment subscribe hope to see you in the next video when we'll be in puerto rico you guys i redid my hair Just the front part, those cornrows or whatever, they were not hidden. They look janky. I feel like an alien. It was not cute. I took some pictures and I was like, these are really bad. So I went back to what I knew. I did my box braids, feeling a lot better now. And now we're really ready for our trip. Just wanted to give you guys an update because um, I'm not going to be having that hairstyle in Puerto Rico. I'm going to have to have someone else do it for me, or I'm going to just have to practice, for real. I'm going to have to practice the feed and braids. My boyfriend was so nice and got me these like little mannequin heads for me to practice my braiding on, because there was a point when I was braiding a lot of people's hair and just wanted to practice. So that is something that I can practice on them, is doing the feed and braids, because that was rough. That was a little bit traumatic. But I feel a lot cuter now with just my normal box braids. And now we're really ready for our trip. So again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You are so lucky. Oh, yeah.